Hey, it's Chris here on my channel, and I'm now in this new location. You know, today is April the 26th of 2023. It's time for another unboxing video for the first time, and this will be my first video. I am going, I am in this new room. Yep, I just finally moved here today, and uh, yesterday I just helped pack, and uh, we just helped packed up and moved it right into this new location while well, my old room is gonna be relocated yeah, because someone is coming in and, uh, and do some stuff. So, at any rate, we're gonna do something a little bit different today in this new location. And today, I just received a package from eBay. And yeah, we did that in the last video, we've been talking about the my Sony SL2000 portable video cassette recorder, Betamax, which was my first one, I just had offered it, because my other video that I just did, which would be my last uh, video being in this, lo in this old location. So uh, I just wanted to show you this one because this is a, actually it's a hi-fi, it's not a hi-fi, it's actually mono, I tested it, it works perfectly, and I just fixed the picture problems, and what I did in the last video, uh, this, the audio was gurgled, so I had to spray contact cleaner to clean the spindle, and once I pop it in, it works perfectly. So I don't want to mess it again, so uh, the head drum works perfectly, so enough said. Okay, it's time for a little bit of an unboxing video, so this is going to be my second one because this is be my first VCR. It's a VCR, by the way. And it's not a VHS, VCR, but you get the idea. So, since uh, I did not want to do the, the sound of a drum roll, so let's, we're not going to do the little drum roll here. So instead, we're going to do an unboxing video. Let's see if this is right now. Yeah. Let's see, we got this open. We're just open. Here we are. Let's see what happened here. This is okay, folks. Moment of truth. All right. Brace yourselves. Are you ready? Here we go. And here it is. The Sony Betamax VCR. The model number is SL450 from 1986. Oh yes, the date is actually 1988. And yeah, I can tell you, this is a Super Beta Hi-Fi VCR. This is where I'm talking about. It's all of its glory. Here are the features. It's got your phone level. It's got your power off on. Your headphone level. The super. Yeah, the lid is originally when it. Yeah, the it was originally used to have the lid in it, but it's broken. It's missing. So you got. Super beta off on, tracking control, auto stereo, beta hi-fi, record mode, beta one and two speed. Yep, it's, yeah, that's, I'm gonna show you on camera. Yeah, it's record mode, beta one and two, MPX filter, input select, normal audio, auto audio monitor. I gotta turn the camera down a little bit to show you all. See if I can give an overview. Oh, sorry. Yep, there's a sharpness. Soft and sharp. You have mono, stereo, off, beta, hi-fi, record mode, stereo two, three. There's a line audio, line PCM, beta, hi-fi, and normal. There's your stereo left and right channel your audio for main or SAP, which is like Spanish or something. 
your TV VTR clear press reset tape return there's your stereo cast it includes a stereo SAP beta hi-fi and there's also clock set check timer set channel timer next timer record off and on clock counter slow yep it's got the slow feature it's got pause stop fast forward rewind play there's beta scan so you can scan through all the stuff if you're watching through scene by you speed up your picture all the stuff in there there's your record switch when you hit the record button there's your synchro edit and there's your level meter just like a cassette deck it's where you can get the level meter there's your your level peak level meter that lights up just like a, a cassette deck and you can open this up it's uh, it has all the stuff is included aft erase add still adjust set tuning hmm that's a nice nice touch to this machine the machine and this is the back got your coaxial cable in for VHF UHF and there's your channel three and four and there's also control s for remote control and then you've got your line inputs or line outputs these are yep you can hook it up directly to uh, HD TV or some stuff or uh, or you can connect to your PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2, whatever you can connect it. These are audio video inputs. These are RCA cables, jacks. And there's your sticker. Looks like the label just came off. Yeah, I know the label is just, it says it actually his name on it. I don't know what I'm just, I'm not gonna show you the name. And here's the, um, the back of it. It's actually, it's an SLHF 450. And it's actually, I don't see a manufacturer's name. It, this was introduced in 1986. Yes, I can tell you. This VCR was from 1986. As you can see, the same year, My Little Pony the Movie came out. And this is what I expect to say. Here's the... Yes. This is my first Betamax Hi-Fi VCR I ever owned. And I know the portable ones, I think it's mono. This one's a stereo. So, nice job. So, what I'm going to do, let's see if I can set this up and see what they're going on. We're going to stop this video right now and we'll do a, a little test and see what what the issue is. When I first got it, when I, when yeah, a seller demonstrated, tested out, a, 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 when I first got this thing, when I first saw this on eBay, a seller did a demo, did, tested uh this machine it worked okay it works fine but the problem the picture is just clogged it messed up the picture so what i actually want to do this so let me see if i can test this out and see what it is so stand by so finally we've got a picture well i'm glad they fixed the problem but uh, yes i think it still works but the betamax is betamax is still playing yeah, I know when I just hit the play button, yeah, they, they, because the problem is is just clogging heads, video heads and all that stuff. So finally, they just fixed the, the video right there. So here's what you got to do. All right. Just wanted to show you. I'm not going to show this video clip right here because of copyright. There you got picture. So here's the fast forward, rewind. And there you, and here's the, um, yep, and this is where there were, this is the, um, the meter is where the, the video or the audio is, is doing. And here's your slow. Yep, it's got the slow. Then you get frame. Yeah, you have to go frame by frame. 
That's a um, nice touch. This is something you don't get on any VHS VCR. Oh. There you go. And that was the, the Betamax. Okay. Yeah, all you gotta do is when you when you put the yeah, I forgot to show you a little thing I have to eject this thing. I don't know where the eject button went. So um I don't see anything I cannot find any info on this thing. So let's see anything. I think it needs the but oh yes, the eject button needs to open, I'm sorry. Yep, you can First, you, I forgot to show you, you have to eject the tape, you, the tape comes out. This is, a, this is a front loader, so just like we do when you put the tape in, just like a VHS VCR, when you put the tape in, it loads. And it... And yet, it still got the picture. I'm glad they just cleared up the these cloggy heads. Some audio, video heads are in there. So I'm gonna do some, when I take this apart, I'm gonna do some cleaning. You gotta do is stop and hit rewind. There you go. See? This is, has better quality than, than a VHS VCR. I'm glad this looks pretty good. Anyways, so now I gotta do some, maybe we're gonna do some cleaning and uh, we're gonna do a little test recording on this thing. So how to demonstrate and how to test this with, by using this machine. So I'm gonna stop this video right now. I'm gonna take this apart. I'm gonna clean those heads, or pinch roller, cap stand, put the tape, put it back together, just hit record and then test the recording and do some other stuff. So stand by. All right, I got this thing taken apart. Here's the inside of this one. It's actually, it's a, me a mechanical. Yeah, it's all, all construction mechanism. It's all just a typical mechanism for when you load the tape in or whatever it is. Kind of like they did with the VHS VCR. So, all I did, I had to check, see if I can clean these heads and stuff. Just I cleaned the pinch roller, I just cleaned that, the cap stand or some other stuff to prevent from residue. So from, well, from the messy picture or whatever that clogged the heads. And of course I gotta clean the, the video heads that needs to be cleaned. Here's the just want to clean this thing and trying to get, get this thing to work. So um, here we are. Let's just there you go. Just clean the heads. So I just wanted to do is just, have not much to it. So I'm gonna just put this thing back together and see what it does. Improved. Now the VCR has put it back together. It's time to test the recording. Doing some recording test. I'm connecting it right to this. This uh, I'm using a um, a USB uh, converter box connected to my uh, my Betamax Super Beta Sony Super Beta Hi-Fi VCR, and I'm gonna do some recording to it. When you're recording this one. Here's what you gotta do is just hit the record level, the record switches on there. When you do this from recording, yep, it's recording right now. So what I'm gonna do is just hit the record button and see how it plays. And then we'll do a little level meter is a And yep, it's recording right now. Let's see if they can test 
see if it's, this is a recording test. And uh, yep, it is recording right now. So I had decided to do is recording this one. So just to show you, I'm recording a, a beta hi-fi version of the uh, My Little Pony Friendship is Magic episode Call of the Cutie. It's recorded on a, a Betamax. I just want to tell you, this is actually, it's recording pretty well, so Let's see how this thing goes, but... So, this is a recording right now, I have... Yep, the level is, is running. See if the counter is in here. So you see, it says the clock and the counter. There's your actually your minutes and the time. So you gotta do is hit the. the yeah, you don't forget I have to make this a clock. It tells you the time. Counter tells you what time is on the tape that is running. Running at beta two. Of course, you have to run in beta 3 mode. So you got to run in beta 3. So let me see if I can stop this recording right now. See, it's recording right now. Yeah, I just, uh, I'm, don't worry, I'm in the middle of recording this thing, just, uh, do beta mix. All right. Let's see if I can. Now that's a recording. Oh. I had to eject this thing. Oh, let's see if I can test the playback. Yeah, I'm recording on beta 2. Yeah, you can see how sharpness goes. This 
is running on beta 2. Yes, I'm recording this also record on beta 3. See, I'm you, I'm I'm playing it back on this, this beta. This is I'm recording on I'm playing back on on a beta three or what they call X three speed. Yes, I actually played back on this one. This is a this is actually a recording test. Playing an episode of My Little Pony Friendship Is Magic on a Sony Betamax machine on a Super Betamax Hi-Fi VCR. Yep, and this is actually the model SLHF450 from 1986. It has auto stereo on there. It's on mono. I just had it record in stereo. Let's see, see if I can test the recording on this Betamax. Just to want to show you, uh, just to give you a little recording test. Yes, this is another recording. I'm switching to What's stereo. Okay, now let's do a playback. Let's see if I can do some playback. Oh yes, I gotta replay this again. Let's hear it again. Yep, and there you go. And there you go. That's how you can record, play an episode of My Little Pony Friendship Is That Magic, Call of the Cutie, on a, um, on a Sony SLHF 450 Betamax VCR from 1986. Yep, I think the quality looks fine, but how can I believe this? I did some test recordings on that either. Looks great. I gotta love this one. It's, it's yeah, 
love this. This thing it looks pretty good. I think if you can get this as a um, yeah. I think it's a pretty good VCR, much decent than the VHS VCR than its VHS counterpart. But I think this is this was actually made around the time My Little Pony the movie came out in '86, the same year that they actually came out with the Betamax. I'm not sure when it was introduced. I'll give you a little info on that. Well, just a little bit of a backstory: the Sony Super Betamax SLHF450 was introduced in 1986. It was sold for $750 back in 86. It, it, it was released that year, which like I said, it's the same year that made My Little Pony the movie, Howard the Duck, and uh, Transformers the movie. All came out in that same year in theaters back in 1986. It's only sold for $750. Improved the SLHF 400 with the seven day six with a seven day six event programming frame by frame playback records both beta 2 and beta 3 speeds or what they call x2 or x3 speed slow-mo playback single audio level control front display which displays clock counter channels and others and uh there's a little backstory behind this thing yeah this originally came with this one yes originally the lid was there but it it, it broke off like, yeah, that one's missing. So that was actually missing. And it also says stereo cast on there. It runs, it, it plays, uh, yeah, it's got the lid that opens. Originally had the lid on there, but it, it's missing. So, no, I don't know, that's no biggie. And overall, it got, has all the stuff in here. So that was, uh, that was all the, all the stuff we got. It's similar to the SLHF 4, 4, 400. If you want to look in the other hand of the story, there was another version of this, what they call the SLHF 4000, was also introduced in 1985. I'm not sure if there's a, a ver similar model to the this S. It's kind of like it, it's compared to the SLHF 400 counterpart. This was actually the similar version. I'm not sure. If it also introduced in 1985 was the SLHF 400. The, the, uh, the, a year later came the SLHF 450 that came out a year later in 86. And uh, this one has that lid with the window says Betamax on there, but the, the one in the later models doesn't have that with the lid. Uh, this does not even, yeah, but this doesn't even include the remote control. The only thing missing is the remote. Or something like a, the version, we you know, is, as there's also a version that was, I'm not sure if there's a Japanese version of, of the Betamax. That there was even, there, by the way, yeah, there's not even a, a, a Japanese Betamax 450. It's not like, it's a very different model, but kind of like that. It looks really cool, but... This one is, like I said, it's from 1986. It still works. I'm glad I'm happy I got it. It's my newest addition to the collection. So one day I might, maybe one day I might get, to, like I said, I'm having a, yes, my room is, is making progress right now. I'm in the process, in the middle of doing stuff. This is going to be, like I said in the beginning, this is my, new, my first day in my new room. Here in my new room, my new location. And of course, my first Betamax VCR is finally here. So we've just covered all of the Betamax VCRs that I've covered here because um, I always prefer the, both versions, both formats, like Beta, VHS or Betamax. Um, it, it was sold for $750 back in 1986. And this was dur during that time, other companies that that battle out with the V8 because what happened is the VHS VCRs was still going strong. It was because what happened is back in '86, when the home when the format wars was still continue to thrive. But what happened is Betamax was in in the decline, and it was when VCRs was still making Sony was still making them in '86 or '87. Um, they continued to produce those right up until probably like '87 '88. It's become more popular, but it was yes the sales of 
pre-recorded Betamax, they're slowly declining. Because what happened is, VHS was king. I mean, people are, don't even bother to buy a Betamax VCR, so people prefer VHS over Betamax. I know there's what, what was going on. There was a thing going on in the, in the mateys. If you watch those videos on the format wars and uh, the whole thing on VHS versus beta kind of thing. And, you know, if you have watched seen videos on comparing to making comparisons to VHS. Because what happened is when, uh, when Sony was declining on Betamax VCRs, VHS was king. I mean... Yeah, you can applaud that. Well, I'll show you the what it is. This is a VHS tape. You know what? VHS was the king of the castle that kind of dethroned the entire form and that beat out Betamax out of the blues, beat, blows the beta format out of the water. But VHS was still the crown jewel of the bigger of the two formats. Yeah, VHS did beat out Betamax in the late 80s, and then v the Betamax tapes con discontinued it in the 90s until they just discontinued it in the 2000s or whatever. They just, the last one discontinued in 2015. The last one, I think, it was 2016 when they just stopped making VHSs. And then, of course, DVD took over, and then kind of like they beat out the, the other two formats by the nose. But what makes unique, I think it's a little bit of a history lesson. Betamax started in 1975. You remember that? When it first entered the picture, in, Sony introduced the Betamax format in 1975. And it continued it into the... And then they started making... And then probably a year later came the VHS format in 1976 in Japan by JVC. And introduced it in, in the US in, by RCA in 1977. And it was the king of the, and it, it started to take on. Well, it has been a little public service announcement. And um, we'll talk and discuss about this in, a, in another video about Betamax versus VHS. So we're going to be talking about that in a future video. So there you go. There you have it. The, the Sony SLHF450 Super Beta Hi-Fi VCR from 1986. Excellent, very good. I think it's very decent for its time, of course. And it's a nice working VHS VCR. That's not VHS, it's a Betamax VCR, I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, it's got the Beta logo on it, so it says Super Beta Hi Fi from 1986. Hope you'll enjoy this video. Yeah, we've been covering a lot of these two Betamax uh, VCRs in probably in one of those videos we've covered the the sl2000 which was the portable betamax vcr and this one is the super beta hi-fi from 1986 this, the sl2000 we've covered it from 1982 and the sl hf450 from 1986 well it's absolutely working so it's now ready to run and uh we're going to do some recording one day to do My Little Pony Friendship is Magic and when I'm going to be start doing this. One day I'm going to start recording some TV series. We call it My Little Pony Friendship is Magic on this tape. So I'm going to do this and we're going to do a little stuff on there on this video. And this. So I'm going to record all 12 episodes on there. So on this Betamax VCR. And there you have it. Hope you'll enjoy it. If you enjoyed this video, just leave a comment, like, subscribe, and uh, well, I hope you'll enjoy this, and we'll catch you in the another video. And this is Chris, and I will see you then later. Bye for now.